introduced a simple toy to arouse curiosity in the classroom so that the student or pupil will love to learn science. Now I have here a butterfly. I used rubber band, so I will store energy into the rubber band as a potential energy and I put this butterfly in the book like this. And then when I open it, the butterfly will fly from the book. Why? Because the energy from rubber band as a potential energy will transfer to kinetic energy. You will see. We can use daily life material to teach science. For example, we have here metal box and we have radio receiver. I will show you what happened. When I turn on radio, you see, you hear the sound, and then when I put into the metal box, no sound, and then when I remove it, can you explain what happened? This is a radio receiver. It will receive a radio signal from station and the radio signal is a kind of electromagnetic wave. So when we put radio receiver into the metal box like this, this metal block, uh, box will, will block the signal, the radio signal. So the radio signal cannot penetrate to this box. Just like the microwave door. You see, if you have a look at the, the door of the microwave, you see that it, inside you, you can see the a metal mesh. Because microwave is a kind of electromagnetic wave, so it will protect the electromagnetic wave or the microwave, so the microwave cannot come out to burn your eyes. We can do some experiment with the gauge valve and two rubber balloons. So I will make a balloon. This side make big balloon. This one will make a small balloon. And you will see what happens. Now we have big balloon here and small balloon here. When I open the valve, what happened? You guess. Okay, now I show you. Is that what you think? What happened? Can you explain that? Many of you may think that air from big balloon will flow to the small balloon in order to have the same pressure. But in reality, small balloon will give you high pressure because the elasticity of the balloon. So when you open the valve, this one will have a higher pressure if you come to this direction. This is another toy. I will blow this balloon. You see, this toy can fly. Okay. Now I want to show you. If you do some experiment with small balloon and big balloon, what happened? Now I show you first the uh, small balloon. And then bigger balloon. The difference is that if you have small balloon, you have higher pressure, so the sound will be uh, higher frequency and the balloon will move very fast because high pressure. I show you again. But now if you have bigger balloon, if you start with low pressure, okay. We can use low-cost material like uh, cellophane paper to teach science. For example, we just cut cellophane paper 
in a butterfly shape and then we put this cellophane paper on my hand. You see what happened. It goes. And then if I flip it over, it goes again, but the other side. Can you expand it? This cellophane butterfly goes up because we put it in my hand like this. It will absorb moisture from my hand and expand. Downward expand. That's why it goes up like this. And when we flip it over, the moisture will evaporate. And downward we absorb moisture from my hand again. And it will expand. That's why it goes like this. What I have here is empty milk bottles, two bottles. I put it together and cut uh, inside and I drilled a hole here. This is methanol, methyl alcohol. I will put some methyl alcohol inside and let it evaporate for a while. And I have a cannonball made of sponge. Put it there and then wait it for a while. When alcohol evaporates and mix with the air, and now I have here lighter. I will light it up because there's a hole here, and you see what happened. Can you expand it? We have here alcohol. You know that the chemical composition of methyl alcohol is CH3OH, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And when alcohol mixed with air, which is oxygen, carbon you combine with oxygen, what you can get is carbon dioxide. And hydrogen combined with oxygen, what you get is water, in terms of water vapor. So you have here very high pressure inside. That's why the sponge will come out. And this is the way you can teach uh, internal combustion. Now, I would like to introduce to you uh, a simple toy. Actually, uh, this is the invention of Alexander Graham Bell more than 100 years ago. He called it photophone. So what I have here is a, a can. We just cut both sides, and this side cover with a rubber balloon and fix with a mirror. And then I have here laser pointer and I will try laser pointer on a mirror and then it will reflect to the wall and when I speak the rubber balloon will vibrate according to my voice so it will give you the uh, interesting figure on the screen Are you ready? When we spin the top, the top will spin like this, and then when it spins like this and also tilt like this, the force acting upon this top is gravitational force. And what you get is top. That's why it will persist like this. This is a sinking bowl. If we hit Okay, we give energy to the ball and you can hear the sound. But now, if we don't hit it, 
instead of eating, we do it like this. And you can hear also the sound. Louder and louder. Why? So the explanation of this is, we give energy to the bowl, like this, mechanical energy, and this mechanical energy we transfer to the bowl, and the bowl starts to vibrate according to the uh, resonance frequency.